Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And I am back to talk about my magical readathon TBR for September. My character for this readathon is doing Archmage, which means in September I have eight books to read or eight prompts but I'm kind of still feeling in a mood reader vibe, so I've given myself options. And some I have currently from my own shelves, and some I'm just getting from the library. So let's go through this. So in Alchemy, I have to do all three prompts, and my first one is for an emotional read. Now, my two options that I have, the first one is She Who Knows by Nanetia Korofor. Now, Nanetia Korofor is like a autobi author for me. And this is, I believe, the first book in a novella duology prequel before She Who Fears Death, which was one of the first books I read by her. So I'm very interested to see how this goes, and I think it's going to be an emotional read just because She Who Fears Death was an emotional read for me. My, But my other option, if they that for some reason doesn't come in from the library, is Finding Junie Kim by Ellen L. This is a middle grade about a middle schooler who is a Korean American. She's being bullied, and from what I understand in this book, she gets to find out more about her ancestors who came over from Korea and what their life was like during the Korean War. My second alchemy prompt is to read a book that was originally self-published and then now has been traditionally published. And my option for this is Wool by Hugh Howey, who also happens to be one of the founders of the self-published science fiction contest, which is currently recruiting judges and then in, later in September will be recruiting authors. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for that. I don't know anything about that except, yeah, it was from my research, it was self-published first, and then later was traditionally published. But my backup option, if for some reason that doesn't come in from the library, is The Martian, which I got many years ago, and this would be a reread, and that would not be a bad thing for me. It's about a man who finds himself stranded on Mars, and what he does to survive, and what other people do in NASA to get him home. Now this is one of the few ones that I don't have a backup for. The prompt is Food on the Cover, and I chose Heads Will Roll by Josh Winning. This will be my first book from him, and it looks like it's going to be a horror, but I could not find a lot of options with Food on the Cover, so I'm pretty sure I should get this one by the end of September because it's a brand new book, so that means the library only lets people check it out for two weeks. But we will see. If not, I will scramble for something, I'm guessing. And then for inscription, I have to read two books. The first prompt is a title that has all the letters of my name. And I only did my first name, and this was a lot harder than I thought. I have chosen from the library Blackheart Man by Nalo Hopkinson. I don't think I've read anything by Nalo Hopkinson, but I've wanted to for a while and this is a new release for this year. But if for some reason that doesn't come in from the library, my backup is The Monstrous Citadel by Mira Belander. I read the first book of this last year. Yeah, I read the first book of this last year and really enjoyed it and asked the library to purchase it. This is the copy from the library. However, they said that those two fingerprints down there our water damage and thus then charge me for the book. So it's mine now. Then the next prompt was to do a title color wheel. So that means the letters of this have to be a color. And after going through all the various shades that letter lettering can be, I set up my color wheel and I got silver. So from the library, I have chosen Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alliston. I know this is a middle grade series and I wanted to read it for a while, but if for some reason it doesn't come through, I have Lotus Blue by Cat Sparks, which I've had on my shelf for a while, 
and also is very shiny. <laughs> yeah. Which I've had on my shelf for a while. So I know it's some sort of sci-fi, which I don't normally need a lot of information to go into a sci-fi. For artificery, I only need to do one prompt. And for this one from the library, I've chosen Gallant by Victoria Schwab. I tried reading it for another readathon a few years ago or a year ago or something like that, and I didn't complete it. But my birthstone stone is a diamond, and diamonds are anywhere from white to yellow, and so this is kind of in the middle for the book color. But our backup for this is a book that my dad has loaned me a few years ago and I've never read, and it's The Tar I Am Krang by Alan Dean Foster. And there is no cover, it is just the pages, which I'm like, ah, they're kind of yellowish, you know, that would work for a diamond, so. All right, and then for spells and incantations, I need to do two prompts. And the first one is a five-star prediction. And from the library, I have chosen Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. To be fair, I did start this earlier this year and already am intrigued, so that's why I was like, ah, I think it's gonna be five stars. But it still is a very popular book in the library, so if I don't seem to get it, then my backup is The Will of the Many by James Eilington. I've heard wonderful, amazing things about this book from all the people I follow on YouTube. It's one of the favorite books of the year. So, from last year, sorry. And I just know it's about using your will as magic. And then for this next one, I don't have a backup because I just want to read this book anyway. And the prompt was shown in a book roast video, and I am going with Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh. I know this just recently won the Hugos for this past year, so because I was a virtual attendee, I did have access to the Hugo packets, so I have a ebook copy of it. And like I said, there is no backup because I, I just really want to read this book. I didn't get a chance to read it before, it wasn't something that interests me, but because it won, now I'm curious. So there's no backup for this one either. So if you are participating in the Magical Readathon, I'd love to know. If you are a booktuber and you've filmed a video, leave me the link to your video down below. If not, go ahead and let me know about some books you're interested in reading this month. My other creative project is wrapping up and I'm hoping to be more present here and get to do more videos and talk with you lovely people. Thank you and have a great day.